Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, if you see something flashing over here, that's my Instagram handle, so check it out. I do upload there regularly an IGTV for all the zodiacs. And then if you comment on any posts uh, that we have over there, normally the most recent one, of course, um, I do um, select randomly um, in the comments and then I read them. Okay, so that's that one. Excuse me. Um, and then before we start, I also had a pre-shuffle. There was a Two of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles you know, in the pre-shuffle. So there can be something stable coming in your life. And I feel like it's going to be very, very stable. Okay. If I move funny, it's because my... Okay. I feel like here I sprained my back working out. Okay. Working out a lot of stuff in my life. Okay. So, you know, here we go though. Scorpios, let's uh, begin your reading over here. Let's... Uh, this is the first one here. See? You might need to organize yourself because you know, it's like I was organizing this. All right. There you go. So let's begin here. Uh, here we go. Scorpios. Let's begin. Queen of Cups, okay, that's good. The birth of the card. It's also the mom card, right? Um, can be considered that you're connecting with. Now, this energy shows um, selflessness, okay? That's the mom, okay? And that's probably how you treat this person or how they treat you. Either that or they're selfish, okay? So, Queen of Cups, uh, in intuitive, of course. Uh, and let me see what else is going on here. Um, someone here, um, I feel like I've already realized um, how much they have feelings for you. Um, they're just looking for a way. They're just trying to, um, you know, um, like, like take the last step. Like, okay, I'm almost there. I'll be there. Because right, there's a bar over here. Well, a gate. Okay, and that's what they're, that's what is, they're trying to, okay, to overcome. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling here. Okay, let's see. Next to the Queen of Cups. Here we go. Temperance, okay. That's good, that's good. Okay. Um, someone here is doing their inner work with regards to, uh, you know, cleansing. Okay. So you could be doing some sort of a mantra, prayers, remedy, or something ritual, okay, to cleanse karma. Um, the temperance also shows here that you are appearing or they are appearing very very vulnerable this person has that energy of um innocence i don't know why okay but they're kind of like that okay because it's it's like you know like it's an unsuspecting energy like the temperance is just like they just do what they have to do and then it's like this person is like not knowing how much you love for them or they love for you you know it's like that kind of innocence uh, that's very way off i feel like because it, it's an unsuspecting energy coming your way like someone is just gonna express their feelings. Let me see. Can be a reconciliation. Working things out, of course. Let me see here. Hermit card. Okay, so someone who's in recluse has been thinking on how can this work out. Okay, Virgo energy. Now, there's a lot of Virgo energy because Mercury is in retrograde, right? So a lot of people will have to think about their life choices. A lot of people will make that choice also. Mm-hmm. That's the Hermit card. 
hermit card also shows you know um, um you know they're wishing they're praying you know um i hope this work out you know this this and that because the hermit normally would realize like they don't want to be single okay they they're ready to be in partnership that's the hermit but they need to understand first you know their life purpose you know that kind of energy and there you go always i swear scorpio Okay, now because I forgot which zodiac got this also, so watch watch all the zodiacs, Scorpio. Hunt for that zodiac because it was the hermit and the lovers that came together. Because remember, the hermit is not, they don't want to be single anymore. They want to tie the knot. Okay. There's a thread connecting the two of you. There's love, you know, Gemini energy, of course, younger, older. Um, but this is, you know, it's like, look at that, it's like mother earth over here has connected the two of you meaning um i feel like if it's mother earth then it's been connected divinely or something like that you know this is very amazing okay because there's soulful connection the lovers normally is very lusty but here it's not strength card major con again leo okay if it's a leo or a taurus energy here because there's a bull over here they're having that resistance okay like they're trying to stop to feel to you know, but it's like, for them, it's, it's like, I can't stop anymore. It's like, I gotta do this. It's, a, you know, it's like, I have to, okay? So it can be that energy. Someone is expressing love, union already. And if it's a strength, if they're not resisting, they found the courage to express their love, okay? Leveling up of the commitment, okay? So the commitment is leveling up. It's right here. Ooh. Okay. If I see it, I have to say it. Knight of Swords. Now, to make it worse, now I have to bend <laughs> to get the card. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to use the one that falls, but it's a King of Swords energy here. Okay. Okay. So, remember the King of Swords has future plans. Okay. This is a quiet energy. Someone who studies a lot. You know, this is the person who has a degree, a bachelor. So you know, normally they have, fi they have finished co college, okay? So, but, and then they pursue something else. So King of Swords is, they're determined to tell you the truth. It's the first time I feel like King of Swords came from this card, okay? So they're gonna, if they're a hermit before, here they come, talking about how serious they are towards you, okay? Oof, oh, yes. here we go. And this one seven, uh, a Leo and Aquarius, okay? Here we go. Next to the King of Swords. Nine of Coins. All right. So someone here is going to be persuaded. You know, it's like, you know, like they're keeping an eye on you. I feel the King of Swords is like looking. It's like, all right, you know, like you're single and you're looking good and you take care of yourself. You're healthy. It's almost like they're hunting and they found you. Okay. So they're very determined. Temperance again. Wow. I feel like, you know, uh... Because you got a temperance, you know, it can be like second time that you guys are reconciling here, okay? But the temperance shows that you guys have inner balance, inner peace with each other here. They, they make you feel comfort, you know, like they comfort you in, in different forms and different levels. This person makes you feel very at ease. At ease, soldier, right? Can be a soldier. Mm -hmm. Next to the temperance. Judgment. Here comes the commitment. Reconciliation again, right? If it's not about reconciliation, it's about someone stepping up, realizing, you know, like there is this connection that is very divine between the two of you. You know, it's like they're gonna go. They're gonna go commit. That's how this person is. Okay. Judgment is to say, I'm gonna do this. I'm determined. Okay, I've realized now. Knight of Wands can be a sad, can be just a younger person who has a fiery energy with you. You guys started as a one-night stand, it became serious. Okay, so that's that energy, because nine of stand. When I say one-night stand, it can be just one-night stand of happiness. Just letting you know, okay? Like, you guys have good coffee. You guys had, you know, it's like those are energies that the Knight of Wands will bring. You know, traveling, Knight of Wands, Sag energy. Okay? Casual becomes serious, basically. Underneath the Queen of Cups. Here we go. <laughs> And the justice card. Why am I laughing? Because I told you it's marriage. Yeah? Libra got this. Partnership tying down the knot. You got I mean I can't. Like, I just draw the cards, guys. Mm-hmm. Union, right? Union is here. Libra. 
I'm trying to, you know, balance the scale between the two. When I say balance the scale, this is not about what you put and what they put. This is about what is in exchange. It's a merchant, okay? It's not a weighing scale for, you know, for the bathroom, okay? It's a merchant scale. That's what Libra is. What you put on the table has to be given back. If it's balanced, Venus needs diplomacy in the relationship, okay? Venus does not check your weight, okay? Just to give you guys a heads up. This is, Venus is not Weight Watchers, okay? Mm. We got here, we're not making fun of Weight Watchers, but I'm talking about how the scale is, okay? Four of Swords, clarity is coming towards you and this person about the partnership. Healing has already happened. Okay, Eight of Wands now, this person is coming in to travel to see you. If they were in Recluse, because that was underneath the Hermit, they're not about to be Recluse. They're about to express their feelings. They got Cupid's Arrow. Eight of Cups here. They're on their way to find their Two of Cups. I feel like it's coming to you. Three of Wands, it, it can be a person in long distance relationship. Four in land, expect a good news to come towards your way. Oh, wow. Our readings are long. Underneath the King of Swords here. You got your five, uh, five of cups. So if, you know, like there is a dissatisfaction on how detached this person is, regardless of how much they're connecting with you already, you're not satisfied. Okay? And again, the lover's card. Okay? But of course, in any relationship, okay, like there, you can't be happy all the way. Either that or you're on crack. Okay? Because the dissatisfaction is just five of cups that are showing they ain't no perfect. Okay? But the love is, I feel. Because love is perfection. There's nothing wrong with love. It's pure. Uh, and another justice card, okay. So I don't know, maybe you're with the Libra, you have Libra placement, because two justice cards over here, showing that this is gonna go to the church. This is gonna go to the to the court, okay? Meaning marriage. Okay, three of wands again. Both of you are wondering how stable this relationship can be. Queen of wands is a Leo that is looking at you right now, trying to think of how they can make it work, because the only thing that they know is... You know, like both of you love each other, and it's it's undeniable. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading as two people find each other in love and moving on to partnership, like you know, totally. Um, you know, it's like okay, I don't know why my monitor died. Okay, um, no, this monitor. Okay, so um, I'm gonna continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box for the extended. Um, yeah, so I was saying, of course, interruptions would be delay in Mercury. Um, Let's see how this moves forward because it's about to move to the next level of the relationship. I'll see you guys again. Bye. All right, Scorpios. So expect to bring your tea in the extended because it's very long. Okay. And we did a Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Now who goes there are for the people who have, you know, like they know how the drill is with the Hermit, the Star, and uh, <laughs> the Lover's card. And all those things were there, but we plotted a date on when the materialization of whoever you're dreaming to be with, because that's where we did the transit. Your dreams and aspiration, your wishes, when is it, you know, it's like transit wise, it's gonna be working towards your favor. And of course, it's gonna show it's in your favor because we did the transit. That's how you would know. Okay, so congratulations, it's wonderful, and I'll see you there. Bye. And it would all happen on all sides. So the hermit looks for the star, they made a wish, if they're in recluse, they're trying to get you know, themselves sorted, and then the lovers comes. Meaning, the person comes to you. The good news, three, two or three of ones, it's coming your way. Under the temperance, six of cups, your soulmate, of course, the person that, who you associate with, like strong love and strong connection. Let's see where this lands, as the energy becomes, it's just you. Soul makeover, scene 15, take one. The world can use more silence. There's too much noise that drowns the wisdom that lies unbidden in silence. It's not entirely our fault. We grew up realizing that making a sound gets us what we want. Infants crying when they are hungry, bored, need of a diaper change, or sick. They get what they want when they make some noise. So our instinct is to talk or ask someone to talk when we want something from them. When we want a response, when we want a reaction, when we want their attention or even forgiveness. When the other person doesn't reply, we interpret that as anger or coldness. But silence could simply mean they are healing. It is in silence that we hear our most enlightening thoughts. It gives us the opportunity to hear what our heart, our mind, and spirit is really telling us. 
Walking away from the chaos doesn't mean escaping or abandoning the people. It means we are reconnecting to the deepest part of ourselves. Every moment we spend for ourselves is a time of healing. Someone is not talking, someone is healing.